Right, it's just a quick video to show the uh, external aerial mod for the Blade 350QX. Um, I found the range is quite limited, not so much when it's facing away from you because the uh, the aerial on the board is, is facing the back, so when you're flying away from you, the range I had was no issue at all really, out to um, probably 1200 feet, something like that. Certainly um, the video was fine, was starting to break up before I lost radio control. The problem is when you turn the come back, because the then the battery and everything else is in the in the way, your range reduces and that's when I found I was losing RC control. And this is is obvious because when you're flying along you will suddenly it'll jerk to to hold um and you realise you've lost control. And if you wave the transmitter around over your head or change the angle you can sort of get control back and then bring it back to you but it's not it doesn't fill you with confidence and especially when you've got a good video signal on FPV you you want to be comfortable flying to that sort of distance so the uh, the original I'll put some pictures up but the original aerial is just a little thin copper wire comes out of this back corner of the board um, so I just took a, a piece of thin coax um, I actually bought uh, on eBay a Nintendo DSi uh, Wi-Fi aerial, which came with a uh, long length of this. Um, to strip the end, you make sure you're more than three centimeters in, so probably five or so, just so you you can trim the end accurately afterwards. Um, and I I found the best way to do this was using a um, a knife, and I held held the wire across the knife and just spin it in my hand. And rubbing back and forward and I can cut through the outer insulation um, and then a little bit more just so you go through the the, the, the shielding wire um, and then you can just pull that off once you've got a nice clean um, stripping point you then need to measure exactly 32 millimeters of the inner wire and cut there and that's the critical length for a quarter wavelength for a 2.4 gig radio gear uh, and then the other end, this is the, the off cut, so it's, it's, I used a longer piece. The other end, you do exactly the same thing, but obviously you need a much shorter piece. Um, I had a probably about a 5mm of the inner insulation, and then I just twisted the screening braid off, and then I tinned both bits. Uh, I took the top off the 350QX, and I uh, undid the four screws to hold the control board on, tilted that up, and then desoldered the original aerial and then just pop the soldering you need a thin tip soldering iron put it underneath the board just push the tinned inner part through um, and that was really easy I thought it would be awkward but it was it was fine and then the uh, there's a pad which I'll show in a picture now which is the uh, ground point for the negative terminal of the battery and you can use that for the screening part now I tested this I wasn't sure this was going to work at all I wasn't sure if it would be worse than the standard aerial um, but so to, to make sure that I tested it fairly I, I went outside and did a range test before I changed anything uh, there's a big difference which way it's pointing so um, tail in uh, I got uh, I think 15 paces of range test I did this using um, if you go into smart mode with a green LED and then move the cyclic you will get the beeps beep 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 beep, beep the out of trim beeps uh, holding down the range test button on my DXA, I then started pacing away, and then as soon as it go, as soon as you lose signal, the beep stop. So it's a really easy way, and I was actually turning around while I was walking, so that I was getting the worst angle. And uh, yeah, it was 15 paces tail in, um, nose in was about 11 paces. So I've done this mod where the the area now, this extended area now comes out through the bottom of the body, and I've just got it taped to the skid, and I then redid the range test, and I got 20. Uh, 22 paces um, nose in which is the worst way and tail in I got 30 paces so I doubled the range test range now I don't know if that's going to equate to doubling the the real range but um, I'm pretty happy it's going to be a significant improvement I'll, I'll test it when I get some better weather and I will uh, put a comment up um, I'll put some pictures up showing the board and the changes so hopefully that's easy to follow I mean the only tricky bit the two tricky bits one is stripping the screening off which is pretty easy with a knife and the other is the soldering which if you've got a fine tip soldering iron is actually much easier than i thought it would be
I hope this is useful.